All right, welcome to our video about Dynamixel SDK. Um, in this video, we're going to be showing you how to install the Dynamixel SDK for C++. For those of you that don't know, the, the uh, SDK stands for a software development kit. Basically, it's a set of tools that make it easier to program in whatever language you like, in this case specifically for our Dynamixels. Uh, it's available in C, C++, C Sharp, Python, Java, MATLAB, LabVIEW, and of course ROS. Um, but as I said, today we're going to be showing you how to install for C++ specifically. The first thing that Robotis recommends you doing is going and downloading Visual Studios. So you can get it from Microsoft here. Go into Downloads and you can get the free download of Community Visual Studios right here. You might have to log on, but it's, it's, it's pretty simple to do, and you have a great ID after that. Um, after you get Visual Studios, you're going to go to the GitHub, our Robotis GitHub. You're going to go to the SDK page, and then you're going to download the zip of our SDK, and then extract it wherever you like. For me, I extract it to um, Documents. So I'm going to start this up, go to Documents, SDK, C++, and now we're ready to get started with the installation process. So you're going to go to Build, Windows 64 or 32 if you're running a 32-bit system, and then start Visual Studios here. All right. Now we're going to go through the process of the library setup. So you're going to get a sidebar that looks like this. You're going to go to DXL uh, x64 or 32 if you're on a 32 bit system, properties, and you're going to be changing some of these. You're going to want to change the output directory v solution dir output. You're going to make sure that this is a dynamic linked library. Um, you're going to also want to go into advanced and make sure that this is also a DLL and go into C++ and make sure that this include is here. This backslash include backslash Dynamixel SDK and all these dots beforehand. Um, once all of that is done, you're going to press OK. You're going to go up here, right click and build. And then the build is successful. Now you're going to exit out of this and we're going to begin the process of building our library. So you're going to go to C++, you're going to go into Examples. I'm using a Protocol 2 Dynamixel right now. So I'm going to go into Protocol 2 and uh, start with Read Write. Six, Windows 64 and then Read Write. Um, now we're going to be setting it up so that our examples can run uh, in a proper, uh, proper fashion. So you're going to go Read Write, you're going to right click, press Properties. And now you're going to be changing, making sure that your output directory is cache sign solutions dir cache sign configuration. Your inner directory is cache sign configurations backslash. Your uh, configuration type is an exe. And then you're going to go to advanced and make sure that your file extension type is also an exe. Um, so you can continue on to debugging and make sure that your environment is path equals percent path percent and then backslash build backslash windows 64 backslash output. Um, you're then going to go into the C++ directories and you're going to add a library directory. Um, the library directory that you're going to be adding is, let me see if I can pull it up. Oh, evaluate value. Okay, and so then you're going to add this one that says backslash build, backslash windows, backslash output, and press OK. You're then going to go to uh, C++ and include directories, and then go here and add this uh, pathway, backslash include, backslash Dynamixel SDK. Lastly, you're going to go over to linker. You're going to drop it down, go to input and additional dependencies. You're going to click here, edit, and then you're going to add DXL. Uh, 64 if you're using 64-bit or 32 if you're using 32-bit. Press OK. OK, and this should be ready to run. 
So you're going to click build, build succeeded, it's up to date. All right, now you should be able to run whatever example codes that you want. I'm going to be going over example codes in the next video. Uh, if you like this video or have any ideas of what we should do for future videos, please comment down below and like and subscribe. Have a good day.